hey everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if this is your first time seeing this face here my name is abna in this channel i talk everything fragrance and sometimes i throw in lifestyle videos if this sounds like something you'd be interested in um kindly watch this video to the end today i'm excited to share with you my thoughts on the iconic duo addict edp if you want to know more about this fragrance then stay tuned this is duo addict edp i have here with me the 100 ml bottle and in this um dark blue beautiful and gold um you know presentation retails 160 dollars on Dior's website there's also the 50 ml which retails around 136 us dollars and i believe there's also 30 ml i'm not sure about that but um this is what we have and um let's just dive into the scent according to geo the addict edp features top notes of orange blossom middle notes of um jasmine sambeck absolute and base notes of um bourbon vanilla let's break these notes down and see how they work together let's start with orange blossom which is the top notes orange blossom to me is a beautiful airy note it's fresh it's floral and slightly sweet let's see jasmine sambac which is the middle note um it's rich and exotic note it's slightly heady which can be good or a bit or a little overwhelming for others lastly let's add bourbon vanilla which is the base notes bourbon vanilla is a creamy comforting note it's somehow sweet but not overly sweet you know just the right amount to balance out the florals okay yeah now to my review interestingly this is one of the oldest um, fragrances in my collection i've had it for uh let's say close to seven years now i've played around with it a number of times the fragrance itself is a bit fruitier if you ask me obviously there is a uh, blackberry or some sort of berries in here even though dior did not list any fruits um when they were listing the fragrance notes for dior addict on their website but um there's blackberry here obviously you're going to pick it it's bold like there's no way you can you know ignore the blackberry notes here and it's a bit nutty not even a bit it's nutty obviously there's a bunker bean here also which is bold like it it greets you the moment you spritz this fragrance the scent here is highly highly concentrated it's very thick it's dense you know it's richer it, it's boozier extremely boozy so if you are not fan of boozy fragrances i don't think this is going to do the work for you yeah and the scent is also more vanilla and powdery when it dries down very nutty very creamy you know it smells so good overall it's it's a good fragrance might be something you like and something you don't like also so um what are the pros and cons when it comes to your addict edp i'm talking of pros when it comes to your addict edp the first thing i will highlight is the quality of the scent you know Comparing this scent to most of the designer fragrances, you could tell that this was very well made and I give a plus to that. In addition, how long this fragrance lasts, it performs really well, which is also another plus. Lastly, I would say it's going to be a very good signature scent if you are into heavy you know, florals, you know, heavy thick scents you, and it's not going to bother you. I think it's going to be a perfect signature scent for you. Let's look at the cons i mean the bad side of um dual addict edp first then i'm going to highlight this fragrance is no longer being produced in its original form okay it's been reformulated so many times and due to that the performance rate has reduced you know the scent wise is not the best compared to you know the, the previous ones those that were created in 2002 um 2012 you know. now let's look at the most important thing when it comes to every fragrance performance how long does it last siage projection um per my experience this is a fragrance that lasts for a very long time i mean if you have the older version i don't know about the reformation ones or even if mine is a reformulated version i think um it's macerated for a very long time so um the performance is strong it's good i'd give it like eight hours straight um siage is also strong and um, projection 
it's also amazing overall rating i'm gonna give um geo addict 7.5 out of 10. the only downside that i don't like is the fact that it gives me headache and um i might not be able to wear it again okay main reason why i'm giving it um 7.5 out of 10. i would say it's a really good fragrance um others might enjoy it others also do not enjoy it. that's fragrance for you very subjective what works for me might not work for you what work for you might not work for me so i always advise people to sample fragrances first regardless of how enticing the reviews may be get a 5 ml but um, decant if um you have access to or try it on your skin and then decide whether it's going to work for you or not before you know um you go in for a bigger bottle but that's it for you today thanks for watching everyone if you've tried your addict edp before let me know your thoughts down below um did it perform well on your skin um uh, do you like the scent let me know what you think about it in the comment section if you're still watching me at this moment and you've not yet subscribed to my channel i will ask you to consider subscribing like this video share me out with family and friends and until the next one it's a bye for now see you bye, -bye.